Well, hello there, viewers. Welcome to Late Shift, Part 1. This is an FMV game. So, we'll see how this works. You might hear some beeps and boops in the background, because I will pause occasionally to chat with some buddies. Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my own wavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? I guess selfless? Who would fool themselves to believe anything with the latter? Idle minds. Too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. That's not the right spelling of herd. Like or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. We're just gonna pause for a second here. Um... It's, uh, yeah, already not off to a great start. Um, anyway, sorry, this is a pause. Um, let's get back to it. Excuse me, uh, this Random variables that are underestimate the human factor. Now I'm just going to be a jerk the entire time. I'm sorry, mate, that's much right. Bond Street, yeah. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Platform, please. Just through there. Thank you. Okay, so I tried to be a jerk and it wouldn't let me be a jerk. Before I tried to be nice, it wouldn't let me be nice. This game just going to do the opposite of whatever I select. doesn't seem very nice, or accommodating of me as a human being. My choices matter, dammit. Mouse lives matter. Yeah, that was probably a stupid thing to say. Anyway. Right. There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. On your uniform, you dingbat. Um, anyway. Um, yeah. Let's get back to this. Well. And here they are. It says choose your own adventure the most movie. Meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Stop. Jumping into cars that aren't yours yet. Dill hole. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. 
Hey, Moha, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what, what shapes you. Shit. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Forget something. Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. Nobody just reads books on game theory. I'll help you with something. Uh, I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <sighs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. <sighs> that was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. Must be a dirk. Two hundred. Okay. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. Oh, fuck. What? He's gonna get shot and Let's killed. Fast cars tonight, all right? She's going to die now. -da -da -da. I hope you weren't expecting no commentary, because there's gonna be commentary. So much commentary. Commentary all up the wazoo. Turn around. Slowly. Now get over it. Drop it. The security guard pay you enough to be a hero. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. What a shit bag. I don't usually curse when I comment, so I apologize for that. Sorry, kids. This is now PG-13. Uh, I guess I have to drive.
I'm getting achievement progress for this. I didn't do jack. Wait, look at the mouse go. Anyway, let's see what's happening. Let's see what these dickheads are up to. So I can go now, right? You should stay right where you are. No. I'm a fucking student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. Are you done now? Get in the house. Gates, no option. Wall, 90% chance I'll get shot, but he's injured. Make it 70. Chance he shoots in this neighborhood, though, 30% max. So the chance of taking a bullet is less than 21. Is it worth a try? No way. Might as well play Russian roulette. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. We need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diphenoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diphenoxin? What the fuck is that? Yes, with a headache like you. Hold still. Making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? Um. Anyway, this is seeming like it's not going anywhere. There's a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobilizer. But I can. Well, you can. Yep, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. These subtitles don't match this you speech at all. Okay, let's get set. And what do I get in return? Don't push your luck. So what's the plan? This is what's gonna happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. Anyway. Show.
Mystery ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up steaming a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Oh, man. Welcome to Hainsworth. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. That's a ridiculous outfit. Why would she wear those shoes? 910 to my left. Thank you, sir. 910. 920. 920. Thank you. I see you. 930. Again to my left. 940. Do I hear 940? 940. Thank you, sir. Looking for 950. 950 to my left. Do I hear 960? Fair warning. I'm selling. 950 once. 950 twice. So, for £950,000, this marvellous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is... 950 grand for its time. Just Thank try you. to keep Very it out of the I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, First, I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Go upstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces. remaining examples okay, great. of the red down. phoenix pattern. Simon known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would, please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. <laughs> yeah, but he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five, I'm looking for. Thank the you, sale price, don't on the phone. Five, I am. Do I hear six? Six, I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven, I have. To the lady. Please Thank you. stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight, I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Let's let her be a jerk. Nine, I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't 
talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumber with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna have Again, a heart attack. Thank you, madam. Do you have a eleven is your bid, madam. Yeah. That's just gibberish. Eleven five, I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven five, it's your bid. It's against you now, bid. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Total gibberish. That makes no sense. You just made up some math. Eleven five once. Eleven five twice. So to the gentleman on my right for eleven and a half million pounds. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's get out of here. I don't know why. He doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem, darling. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my billing. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Uh, she's annoying. I don't like her. So I'm gonna prevent it. What are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. Our reception. Typical. They got a cell phone with them? Why didn't they confiscate it from him? How stupid are these criminals? Jesus Christ. Where's Matt? He's in the lift. The lift's here and he's not in it. Where is he? Matt, what are you He's going home before he gets himself arrested. What an idiot. Anyway. Mm. Let's get back into it. Well, 
not certainly a thing. Anyway, um, let's keep going with this. Not even halfway through this mess yet. anybody in this movie. So let's choose your own adventure game. <laughs> There's gotta be a better game buried in here somewhere. I mean, in principle it works with production value, but... parts of this work just fine. The production is good, but... Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. The problem is your choices don't seem... Let me see it. I want to see the part. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until it gets Wu's place to turn it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some shortage high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Fuck you. Hey, that's not what we agreed. Not here, just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Some idiots don't know how to drive, apparently. Yeah, it doesn't seem so far like anything I say is reflected in what's going on on the screen. Like, the events don't reflect my choices at all. Not that I think I'm some omnipotent god who has control over things. <laughs> oh, shit. The choices don't really feel meaningful. Right. Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. I know this petrol, look, we gotta get out. What do I right? care? Let her die. Fuck. This, why are you rescuing her? Just leave her in the stupid van. Jeez. Shatter at least, please make sh please let the bowl of shatter. Oh, the power of bubble wrap. What do you know? We need to get away from here. Where are we going? We're going to take this bowl to the police where it belongs. What? You heard me. Are, are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, all right? You think the police will believe me? You are seen in the auction house. You are a criminal. No, no, I'm a security guard, and I'm bringing the ball back. You're an accessory, plain and simple.
Watch me. That ended everything abruptly. That's the end of the movie. I'm under arrest. Not yet. You allege someone forced you to steal this. Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you? Convenient. I'm telling you the truth. We'll be the judge of that, sir. Like you said. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. It took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? It's been a complicated night. So it seems. Exploding vans, mysterious Chinamen. That's kind of racist. I think, I think you're up to your balls in this. But you got scared. And now you're trying to lie your way out. I'm telling you the truth. Anyone to back you up? There was a girl. <laughs> Do you surprise me? Where's she at? She wouldn't come with me. Sounds like the brains of the operation. I I'm trying to do the right thing here. Yeah, why don't you investigate this Mr. Wu? He's the guy that they stole the bowl for. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch, that's all I know. <clears throat> Tony Wu is sitting in the room right next to us. And he's very convincingly denied any involvement in your little enterprise. In fact, when we told him what you stole, he nearly stopped breathing. Any thoughts? Do you know who the Choi family are? Because Tony Wu does. And he knows fine well not to fuck with them. I think you didn't realize that until after you stole the bowl. And now you're sitting here, shitting yourself, looking for a way out. I want you to talk to somebody. Do you recognize this woman? What the fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. But unlike the bowl I examined this evening, this thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes, I dare say. Start talking. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. We'll keep you informed. Matthew Thompson, I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery. What the fuck? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something you let them rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Look, I really don't know where it is. Tell it to your solicitor. Vehicle 721 in position on City Road. Copy that, 721. Please hold until further notice. Where are you taking me? CID at Knightsbridge. They want you to talk them through the robbery. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Start getting a few plus points on your record. 
Get a year or two off your sentence. Can't believe it's come to this. Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice? Well, that changed things. Oh, the halfway through. He wasn't going to be arrested for good. Where is it? I don't know. Look, I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will become even longer. Nights never end, man. That was a really fake ass looking slap. Anyway. Where's the bomb? I haven't got it. Lies. The police informed us. The rightful owners. About what we've done. Where are you hiding it? Oh look, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl. Or Disrespect will be punished. Now for the final time, where is the bowl you took from the auction? Not the copy you brought to the police. The original. The original bowl that you stole. Where? You've got the wrong guy. What the fuck is that? You know where the bowl is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. What are you tell? Torture her, I don't care about her. Oh, She's a her. dick. So you meet your partnership with her? I never met her before tonight. Cut the lie. I was part of the robbery, but it wasn't my choice. I don't know anything about, about fakes or forgeries or, or anything else for that matter, okay? As far as I'm concerned, the bowl in my pocket was the real bowl. He called me. Go on, what is it? What have you been? You have been I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Bowl equals pain. The longer you have bowl, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fucking hell! No, I haven't got your fucking rice right bowl, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The bowl is ours. First to tell truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma. Game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them. And vice versa. But he doesn't know where the are inconsistent. One of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. This isn't prisoner's. Okay, that's not prisoner's dilemma. He can't confess to anything because he doesn't know where the rice bowl is. This is freaking amateur hour here. Jeez. The long one. Good choice. Very honorable death. One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Death 
happened slowly over a long, long time. <sighs> Great. Where is the bull? The original bull. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Oh, whatever. Look, look, I am genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. There is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. You're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Wong Daiwa. Where is the original? Do we repeat? I don't know. Second round, like I thought, the girl kept quiet. Where? Fuck. She followed the strategy. If I get this wrong, the mailing gets one of those knives through the stomach. And so do I. God, I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> this can only continue. Where is the original? What would giving God, any even do? Fuck you! Fuck you! Glenwood Bow Sight over here. Who wouldn't get one knee? The lady says you lied to us. That you're the only one who knows where it is. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can we please speak in fucking English? I didn't say you're the only one who knows where it is. I said you're the only one who can get to it. It's okay. <gasps> that looks like fun. Decided. Anyway, um... This doesn't seem like it makes any sense. How would I even sell her out? That doesn't make any sense. I don't have any knowledge of which I could sell her out. All I could do is lie and say that she knows, which doesn't make any sense. You bring us the ball, she'll stay as hostage. If you fail, she dies. <laughs> Uh, this is really dumb. It's Pa. He's the one who fucked us. He fucked us all. How do you know that? Because I'm the one who forged the copy for him. Oh, fuck me. Enough. Time to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. He's an I'm amateur sorry. potter. Where's the original? I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Uh, this, this makes no sense. How can I act based on no information? Um... Yeah, I, I don't really know what this game wants me to do. Anyway, let's get back to it. Okay. Okay. Pa. I have to make this fucker pay for what he's done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Isn't he dead? 
rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this? Wait, didn't follow him. Right. Just keep walking. Just keep moving. Fuck, I really have no time for this. Hey! You! So bus stop this way, mate. How the fuck should I know, smart boy? Honestly, mate, I've got a bus to catch, alright? You've got a bus to catch, have you? I'm like a limousine if you ask me, smug boy. For the police. That's okay. We're just having a laugh, aren't we? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really dumb. Anyway. This does not seem like it's going to work out so well. Blimey, that guy Lily choked me. Shit. The auction guy, Jeffrey, nearly strangled. He had access to the bowl after the expert on stage had it, right before we stole it. Right. How do I find him? Where did he get this phone from? What? Does... Somebody just hand him a, a smartphone and tell him to do the job? I mean, does anything in this movie make sense? This FMV game? Just anything? Hello, oh, hi. Um, I I'm really sorry to call this late, but um, it's Sebastian. Hello. Who's speaking, please? It it's um, it's Stan from work. I, I heard he was in an accident. Is he alright? Is he at home? No, no, he's not well. He's been taken to the hospital. There's a serious concussion. It's horrible. I'm really sorry to hear that. Where did they take him? They took him to St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Thomas's, thank you. I'm really sorry this happened. Don't worry, it's not your fault. I'm sorry, though. All right. Let's pay this poor guy a visit. So I have to get to the guy who they strangled. Can see. Um, I thought you had some party to go to. Some bet for a grand? Why do you think I'm back here doing an extra shift? Yeah, well, things would have gotten way worse for you. Oh, don't start. What brings you here? Um, uh, I'm here to see someone. Can you tell me what room Sebastian Le Clark's in, please? Is he here? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room that... What? Like it was just a key? Oh, come on. Good night. Look, this isn't about some entry ticket to some party, yeah? This is way bigger. What's so important that you need to see him now? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I won't believe you if you don't. Okay. It's because tonight, 
I was kidnapped by a gang of thieves who forced me to be part of a failed robbery, which has resulted in me being pursued by a gang of homicidal triads who want something that I don't have. And Mr. Clark is the only bloody person who knows where it is. I can't wait till visiting hours. I will be dead by visiting hours. What the hell does any of this mean? Okay. Why didn't she see any of this go down? She was in the parking garage too. This is really dumb. Please. On the seventh floor. Room 703, and if you get caught, I've never seen or heard of you. Thank you. We could have just roamed the entire hospital. That would have worked, too. Pretty high production value for this, though. I gotta admit. Is that from the bat slaps? They won't let me use the internet. Oh my god. That's how we got the ball at the auction house. Smut magazine, really. Oh, that guy looks like Tom DeLonge. Because of the crimes committed at Hainsworth tonight. You shouldn't be here. Nurse? No! Now you listen to me, mate. I'm a peaceful man. Okay, I do not want to hurt you. But if you try that shit again, I swear to God, the bits of you heart are gonna get a whole lot worse. Do you understand me? Do we have a deal? Yes. Good. Tell me about your deal with Samuel Park. I know you replaced the Boston Rust Bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. Do you want to discuss that with the police, mate? Perhaps have a little gander at the surveillance footage with them. <laughs> They've already seen the footage of the robbery, maybe. But what about the footage of you after you left the main auction room? Of where? Backstage. You know nothing. You need not scare me. There's nothing you can do. I mean, it's just a matter of time until the choice will find you. Where's the rice bowl? It's stolen. Look at me. I was beaten up. Where is it? Where'd you put the original? I didn't put it anywhere. From me. Where's the original? Does Paul have it? If I tell you, you have to promise to tell no one about me. You're kidding, right? If you don't promise, I tell you nothing. I don't have time for this, mate. Uh. Look, it's just you and me here, right? Now, where's the fucking rice bowl? This is the last time I'm gonna ask you nicely. Okay. Okay. I swapped it. I swapped it in the elevator. The original with the forgery, and I hid it. The cabinet. Pa's cabinet had built an auction. There was a secret compartment in it, right? Yes. Is that where it is? Is the bowl still inside? 
I don't know. This is the truth. The security took everything to the safe storage after the robbery, and they brought me here to the hospital. Oh man, this is really getting um safe storage. annoying. So I still inside Hainsworth. Nice. To break back into Hainsworth's. Ugh. Oh, painkillers! Thank Christ. Will this get me into the vault? Yes, if you can get to it, yes. I was never here, right? Yes. You never heard about the hidden compartment. Get all soon. Yeah, yeah. Good night. <sighs> what an asshole. Um I keep pausing here and there. There's a lot of beeping and booping going on in the background. For that I apologize. I could turn it off if I want to, but I don't really want to, so Do I need to... Yeah. Is there not an APB out for this guy? That's probably really stupid. Sorry, sir, I'll be with you in a moment. No rush. <laughs> Long flight. How can I help you? I have a meeting with Mr. Quinn. Second floor, room 13. Great, thank you. You're very welcome, sir. Those are Big Macs. Well, not the McDonald's sandwich. Big Macintosh computers. That's how this goes. What the hell do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. Wait here. Probably run into somebody on the stairs. I was definitely run into somebody on the stairs. Fuck me, that was close. What a terrible idea. I should have gone straight to Paul's in the first place. Primrose Hill. 
I don't know where Par lives. When did I learn this information? not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. This is bizarre. Anyway. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says oh, that he thank has you, Willa. I'll take my tea in the study today. Will you intrude at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well... Mr. Matt, how did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you, and you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. I like this guy. And I know about your deal with Sebastian the Clark. Yeah. Smuggling the original out of the auction house, hidden inside the wooden chest you bought. This is quite the little work of fiction, isn't it? What do you hope to gain by this? We're going to discuss this sensibly or not? I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. wait. All right. Sensibly, in my study. Yeah, lead on. What a crazy dickbag. I actually feel like he deserved what happened to him. He's such a jerk. I want the old guy to win. Where's the bowl? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. What do you think the Choys have to say about all of this? <laughs> the Choys will never believe you. I am a respected member of the community, and you clearly are not. Um, alright. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the beeping and booping and get back to the deposit every now and then. I will destroy everything in here. Uh, not now, will I? All right, all right. The bowl is here. I clicked at the chest last night. Show it to me. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. Tell it to me, come on. Seven nine nineteen zero one. Oh, so it's like that now, is it? You don't think I'm just gonna give it to you just like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you're gonna do. The bowl's not here. Then where is it? It's not here. I have seen Don't shoot, don't shoot. It isn't here. It's still at Hainsworth's. You said you picked it up last night. I couldn't get it. Not with the police there. It's still in the vault. Then when's it being delivered? When? Why would I tell you? Okay. 
Okay. Why does it keep clipping it off? Then we'll wait here. Together with the choice. No, 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 wait. What? Keep me out of this. I'll give you a million pounds if you keep my involvement from the choice. You could take a hundred thousand pounds right now, right out of the safe. Rest later. A million pounds? What? And you get scot free, do you? Scot free. Ugh, I'm not doing this. No. No, I don't think so, Mr. Parr. There are some things in life your money can't buy. And I'm one of them. Who are you calling? Sit down. Yeah, it's me. Speak. The ball's been delivered to Samuel Parr's house. When? Sometime today, I don't know. The girl dies in one hour. No, 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 no. no. You, you have to keep her alive. You have to believe me. Okay. I said men. No, no, listen. You... Hello? Chinese fuckers. Think just because they owned it once, it's theirs forever. Who are you? I park cars. You don't look as if you park cars. I suppose not. Delivery for Mr. Park. We're all dead. Oh, she probably deserved it, trying to sell me out. Why do you care? They get to kill her. Probably did. She probably deserved it. I'm curious. We investigate a matter with Mr. Paul himself. Where's my link? She's here. In a box. Need to go. Room seven three one. Where we'll see her dead body. In China. What did he say? Goodbye. Also, isn't there an APB for this guy? Is the police that incompetent? Oh well, I guess they are that incompetent. It's not really the height of storytelling.
Well, that's about to happen. sure how I feel about this. I think I'll have to do another playthrough with different choices to figure out exactly how I feel about this, but eh. Up until the second half of uh, of the game, it felt like my choices weren't really being reflected on screen. It doesn't feel like a lot of the things they did upstream really affected what happened downstream. I think the first half worked better as a movie and the second half worked better as a choose your own adventure game. But ideally, excuse me, ideally both halves should work as both a movie and an adventure game. I didn't really get that here. But, you know, I think there is a version of this game in theory where oh, excuse me oh. there is a version of this game in theory where all this just works properly I think um, not this game unfortunately I think this is sort of a it's good proof of concept though that It's good proof of concept that you can actually do this, this kind of game and have it mostly work. But they did really. The writing just wasn't there, fortunately. They didn't make the choices seem like they matter in the first half, and in the second half, um, Matt just started acting crazy for no reason. You could play him a little bit more uh, put together, unfortunately. So, yeah, mixed bag here. I think, you know, the production values are there, the acting is there for the most part. Um, even I mean, the dialogue is pretty good. So, I mean, the production value is there, but they just need to tighten up the writing, I think. And Make, make the choices a little more meaningful. So I don't think there's a version of this where you can go to the police and, and win. I think you have to do this. I guess just sucking up to Mei Ling the whole time. I think that's what they want you to do. You know, she's kind of a jerk, so just always suck up to Mei Ling, and I think in the end you get to make out with her or something that they showed, they showed in the trailer. I don't know. It's weird when it's like the... It's a problem of, of uh, how I put this, one girl syndrome, where the only major female character becomes the love interest, and it's always kind of squicky. I guess you could say the receptionist is sort of a major female character, but she's not barely there. Like. I guess Katie trans there, she's only in a couple of scenes. So really, it's like, you know, the only major female characters become, or plot relevant female characters become the love interest, and it just feels like, you know, show a little more imagination every once in a while, you know? Anyway. I think I'll record a second playthrough for y'all at some point, if uh, any of y'all are interested. I'm not actually sure if I'm still recording, I should check. I don't know, maybe I went over my data allotment and I'm no longer actually streaming. That'd be dumb. I 
probably should have just recorded this instead of streaming it. Oh, well. The problem is, once the stream gets interrupted, it stops the recording. I wish there, were, wish there were a way to turn that off in OBS. There might be a way. I think you have to start the recording first and then start the stream. Then you don't have to worry about that.